All right, we have your brain version one. Let's go, go, go. All right, it's Brian Lake, Brain Muffin, back with another beer review. And this time, it's my beer. So up is the Wee Heavy Brain, which maybe you can read on the label. Version one, this is my first Fourier into a Scotch Ale. This is a little cold, nice little bit of smoke. And hopefully with my run in here, I didn't shake it up too badly and it explodes all over the place. So uh, the Scotch Ale is a beer that I like, but don't drink much of. And I know there's a difference between an American version and the Scottish version. One is malty and the other is kind of a peat smoky malt. And I think that's the Scotch version, the Scots version. I, I don't remember. So a little bit of a chill haze going on there. This one's been out in the garage for a while. Oh, but the smell, the smell is incredible. Not lots of very malty, I want to say biscuits, uh, you know, I don't remember my malt somewhere. My, I have my brew notes. It's been several months. So this was bottled on the 9th of October. So natural carbonation, primary sugar in there. Oh, and it's a nice malty beer. Mouth feels a little thin. We're going to work on that. Um, if I remember, I used uh, British two-row pale on this, a uh, UK pale as my base malt, and then some crystal and some others. I think I put a little bit of, I don't know if I put chocolate malt in this or not. In the description below, I'll put the full grain bill. I'm not going to put the full recipe, although I really had to do that on my blog. And then what I want to do, I believe, is I want to do a one-step mash, and my family's driving me nuts. Um, as opposed, I did a four-step mash with this, and I really wasn't 100% liking the results. I really want to do, what I probably need to do is a little bit more research on my base malt and understand how converted it is, and modified rather, and how much I should really be stepping that malt, because I don't think I need to do a four. That's just too much complexity. I might do a two, or I might do a one, maybe a one step of 155, 160 degrees uh, for an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and then let it rock. But that is still really good. I, I mean, I'm not like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Scotch ales. I don't know a whole lot about them. I had a request from someone to make a Scotch ale, but that smells fantastic. I mean, that is a nice, um, nice uh, malty beer like it like it should be. And just got to work on the mouthfeel. I mean, from start to finish, it's pretty good. Um, there's an odd off flavor in there somewhere. It's very very subtle though. Um, probably being a little bit more noticeable warming up. I think it's a little bit of hot bitterness in there that really shouldn't be. So I really need to review, review the style guide next time and, and, and make some minor adjustments to kind of really fall in line with the way it, it's supposed to, to... Oh, good grief. This is why I hate have doing live. So I'm going to check the end of this beer. I checked it as a solid three before, and that's what I'm going to give it now. Uh, it hasn't really changed much of the age. It's got a little bit better. This is definitely a, um, a beer that needs to be consumed. I think it's like only 5%, if that. Uh, so really, this is not a beer it's going to store. I don't have much left. But if you're in the Cincinnati area and you want to try this, please let me know. We'll figure out a way to get you a bottle. Yeah, especially if you give me uh, empties. I'm pretty good at exchanging a, a, a six-pack of empties for a six-pack of fulls if you got them. I mean, things like this that I can reuse. No twist-offs, please. But that is a, a really good ale. That would go uh, food-wise, probably pair with about anything, especially if I can get the mouth feel a little bit better. And I don't want it real thick, but it's way too thin. It needs to have a little more substance there. Uh, get rid of that goofy bitterness off flavor that's in there. And this would definitely get to a four. I think the base recipe is good. It just needs a tiny bit of tweaking, perhaps in the malt, in the brewing process itself, not in the recipe, but we'll see. But that is really, that smells fantastic. Um, so obviously I can't say if you've had this because not everybody can, has access, but uh, I am a home brewer um, using the grandfather system. And uh, this is really, really, uh, I think uh, for a first stab at a Scotch Ale, this is definitely a good one. I wish this was uh, available, was done by, in time for um, 
Ryan Geist homebrew contest. It wasn't. Plus, I didn't have enough information. I lost some of my notes, too. I don't know what happened to them. Uh, so definitely need to do this again with a small tweak. Get some of those off flavors out of there. Make it smooth. Make it more professional, and, and we'll be ready to rock. But you could probably have just about anything with this um, as far as eating. And, you know, and this is, you know, this actually is light enough uh, as far as mouthfeel-wise and alcohol-wise that even in the summertime, this could be a good beer to have with, you know, grilled grilled items, fish and vegetables and meat, or whatever you want to grill. I mean, if you're grilling eggplant, I mean, you love it. I, I'm not going to uh, say one way or the other. I'm not going to judge you. I don't care. Just let me have my pork. That's all. But that's, this would really go well just about anything. It's really great. And once I get it tweaked, then I'm going to compare it against some commercially available Scotch ales. I haven't had the Sam Adams Scotch ale in a long, long time, and I have mentioned it before. But that that smells. I mean, the smell is great. The smell is excellent. I just got to work on the mouthfeel and the aftertaste. That's it. And it's very, very subtle. I mean, it's really hard to not uh, to not taste. There's a tiny bit of bitterness. I think is hops. I think I slightly over hopped it, perhaps uh, in secondary. So there you go. Solid three. Um, this is the, the Jungle Gems. Uh, uh, beer fest from several years ago and uh, thanks for stopping by thanks for clicking like sorry about the messages from everybody on creation but hey that's 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 the bears um, check me out uh, on brianlape.com I will be blogging more about beer uh, I know I'm way behind on blogs there I've been doing more videos and I wouldn't call these vlogs you're just kind of really reviews and things it's not just me chatting and I need to get back to just kind of chatting long form text and that way but this is very good. I'm actually surprised. I didn't like this when it was was new. I was very embarrassed by it. But now um, I like it a lot more. Uh, I still think it's a solid three. I haven't really changed my rating. It needs to do tweaks some more. Um, I think two minor tweaks, and this is a solid four. And then uh, just practice to get it consistent, and it'll be a solid five, at least in my book. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for clicking like. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the comments. And if you have made a Scotch Ale and you want to share recipes, compare ideas, please let me know. Let's do it. Thanks. Bye. It looks crooked, crouched, crouched. The meat finish, and then we'll eat. Okay, doggies. Three, seven, nine. Am I in focus? Wait, wait, what? Hold up. <clears throat> what? Oh, man, we're rolling already? Why didn't you guys tell me we we're starting? Huh? I'm not even. Oh. All right, we're just wasting time now, aren't we?